1.7 trillion naira supplementary budget submitted by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to the National Assembly, which has undergone review and approval following outrage expressed by many Nigerians. Well, on Thursday, Abubakar Vici, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriations, told journalists that the budget of 5 billion naira for the presidential yard has been transferred to student loans, bringing its total budget to 10 billion naira, eliciting more reactions. As far as we are concerned, uh, we don't have that um, percentage anymore. Um, we have increased the student loan. If you can recall, student loan was um, 5 billion naira in the budget. But now we have increased it from 5 to 10 billion so that our students can be able to access that facility. Welcome back. So finally, the voice of Nigerians have been heard. But then, secrecy, secrecy. I mean, the more you look, the less you see. The president marked certain amount of money for a cruise liner. Some call it yacht, whatever it is. And uh, Nigerians screamed, they shouted. And this brought the government on its knees. But did they really kneel? Well, they said that... The five point something billion naira that would have been used to procure the vessel, cruise liner, yacht, is now transferred into education. Not as a grant, no, but as a loan. So who is going to pay who? This is how bad it is. This is how terrible it is. Um, these people lack empathy. They are wicked people. It is so sad. I'm going to allow you guys to listen to one or two things so we can, you know, analyze it and talk more about it because um, this is how it is going to continue if we do not act. At least this government stepped back. They probably might have shouted it to say um, it's going to be put on loan and all of that. And you will never find where the loan um, is going into. Maybe they are going to give some amount of money to certain individuals you see on TV and shakes here and there, and that will be the end of it. You will not see the impact of this so-called loan. Why should it be a loan? The question we should ask is this. The so-called cruise liner or yacht that the president wants to relax um, with his family and friends and whoever it is, was it supposed to be a loan? Was it a loan cruise liner? So why is it a loan? What does that tell you? It speaks loudly of wickedness. Before we proceed, like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Turn on the notification bell. Returning subscribers, I say thanks for returning. Those that have been here, I say thanks for being here. Tap on the thanks button to encourage us to do more. Let's get right into it. In order um, for them to go to school and to be affordable for them, this will be the action. So no more what? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we don't have a, um, that yet anymore. All right. Well, I guess what would I say? Kudos at this point. But, you know, Nigerians are going to react. This is from Brother Bath, who wrote, Yacht budget to education budget, selling the dog and buying monkey. One, it is now reported that the House of Rep has moved Tinubu's proposed 5 billion naira for procurement of yacht to education loan budget. Two, each budget item must have been worked out with clear criteria. Three, one wonders the criteria for adding the budget for Tinubu's yacht to education loan that the House of Reps just moved the money and left it for those in charge of education loan to work out how the new addition will be expended. Isn't this an opportunity for misappropriation? For if the House of Representatives was against the Tinubu yacht budget, just like Nigerians have widely expressed, why didn't they approve the budget with less than the 5 billion naira? Must the bottom line figure be retained? After all, this is a supplementary budget. Five, the decision is more like selling the dog and buying a monkey. Another Twitter user there, Akin, goes, why student loan? Was the budget a yacht loan? They should make it a grant that students don't have to pay back the 5 billion naira for the most indigent students as grants, financial aid, and the remaining 5 billion naira for less indigent ones as loan. Uh, finally, uh, this Twitter user goes, the more you look, the less you see. The budgetary magic 
5 billion naira budgeted for presidential yacht was moved to student loan, while the Ministry of Defense budget was increased from its initial 476 billion naira to 546 billion naira. That's a 70 billion naira difference. How many presidential yachts will 70 billion naira buy? It is called Robin Peter to pay Paul. But this regime even went as far as paying Silas and Saul. Ayo, of course, you know, these are very, very um, pertinent questions Nigerians yes, are absolutely. asking. You know, especially that 70 billion naira uh, difference. I mean, what's that all about at this yeah. point? There needs to be a more explanation on that. But also, you know, Bayon Onuga's tweet just falls flat at this point. He said it was an operational Naval, naval vessel. Vessel. Mm. Which also got a lot of people reacting at this point because, I mean, if it was really for the Navy, yeah. why do they have to scrap it? I mean, we need uh, defense, eh? don't we, we? We do. There are so many, <laughs> wow, so many, uh, what's it called, arguments or debates around yeah. this naval base. I'd earlier said that in other countries like the U.S. and the U.K., these vessels, the yachts, presidential yachts, the U.S. was called the presidential, the floating White House. Yeah. Not, you, yes, it came under Navy budget, but it wasn't used for combat or used in the area of defense. It was usually ceremonial. So the justification by Mr. Bayon Onuga is quite curious. Mm -hmm. Also, put that side by side by the justification by Senator Ali Ndumi. Yeah. In his own argument, he says it's because he had already been paid for, about well, had been agreed. So there's a contractual agreement that the vessel is ready to be delivered. It's just for us to pay. Yeah, so we're Bayer actually Luga bound. Said it. He that said that it was uh, ordered the previous uh, administration. By, so we're actually bound. So all these things we're saying, they've paid, they, the thing is ready. They just need to deliver it to Nigeria and we have to pay. <laughs> we cannot renege on a contract that's already been agreed on and signed by a previous administration. That's where we find ourselves here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the same, some of the same, same set of members in the National Assembly today where in the previous assembly, were the ones who also approved that amount of money to be paid to buy a presidential, um, you know, a presidential vessel. But going on to what he said about the five billion, I asked the question earlier. Okay. That how did they arrive at the need for an extra five billion now to go to the student loan? Usually, there's a set of criteria. We've talked about the fact that the procedure process for this student loan has been shrouded in secrecy. We only know that there's a student loan that is meant to come into effect in January of 2023. Some other provisions of the Act, Tertiary Education Act has not been fulfilled. No. So how will that happen? What is the extra five billion naira there for and how did they arrive at that exact figure to be included in the student loan? Are we just putting money all around, moving it around? Okay, oh, you put it there. Is there a need for that? Mm -hmm. Then coming to the defense budget, the same questions we ask. You know, when we asked Senator Ndumi as to why it's, it seems like it's a rubber stamp assembly, he said, oh, because they had to pass it quickly. They had only seven more weeks for the president to spend this money. What is urgent about um, the, the vessel, the presidential fleet? What is urgent about defense adding seven billion naira. No. You have about over 400 billion naira yes. added to that. When most of these, in fact, all of it is going to be from borrowing. And we talked about the fact that borrowing in itself is not bad. Economies around the world, nations around the world borrow. It is what the money is going to be used for. Unfortunately, this is not justifiable, mm -hmm. at least in terms of the details of what yes. the reason. And, and I do feel that this National Assembly is not doing its dupe, is not carrying out its functions in terms of truly checking the um, powers of the uh, yeah, executive. Yeah, there needs to be a clear criteria. That five billion naira added to the student loan, like the other Twitter users yes. said, should also, even if it's been added, let it be a grant to yeah. students, the lower, the lowest of the bottom students, to you know, to be able to I go to school. You know, so, concerning all of this, it just shows the confusion that happens mm. in Nigeria. And when you try to peel through the layer, you see more confusion. Mm. Reminds me of fella songs, fella song, confusion, break, ibono, yeah. But that's what's going on here. Take for instance, we had a senator uh, come here and say something that shocked me, and I quipped a bit that when they send forward the request for the cars that they want to buy in the presidency, they don't even look at the make and all of that. And I'm asking, so you approve monies just like that without asking the make of the car? Is that where we have become as a nation? If you are to have a line item, yeah. aren't you supposed to state, even if it's Innocent or Nord or Nissan Dassault, are you supposed to say the cars the president wants to use? Absolutely. So it speaks volumes about our budgeting. I think we need to have introspect and have real questions. And I think the matter of all of this, you know, that yacht, 
It's another indication that something needs to be done about our budgeting yes, system. And absolutely. honestly, Audrey, I'll submit to you, because I know we're, we have one for time, that our leaders feel this country is all about a joke. And the better they start fearing the people, the better it's going to be for them. Yes and yes. I've always um, applauded um, Rufayo, saying even though at times he could go too hard. I mean, at times it could be overbearing. But this is what we want. We want uh, journalism without fear. We want journalism that will not be the brown envelope journalism. Even though some might say the reason is um, this way is because he's in support of Peter Obi. All right, anyone can support whoever. But let us look at what has been highlighted in the discussion. Yes. What is this about? So it has been paid for already by previous administration. It is just for the for this government to welcome, receive the cruise line. That's it. So how come Nigerians weren't aware of it before? Because it wasn't announced. Is it that the previous administration is less transparent than this government? They said that they have transferred the five billion into education loan. And does that stop the cruise line from being delivered? Or it was more of um, an extra? Oh, I don't really get it. Oh, they ordered for it. They paid a certain amount of money for it and it has been prepared. Do not forget that some of these cruise liner um, at times will be prepared according to um, the, 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 the specification of the country. Or it has already been made. Because this cruise liner cannot just be made and then uh, kept somewhere and um, you just pay for it it's not like a car these are big 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 crews these are big yachts not a small one so you have to pay and it takes a while it could be it could take two years it could take one year to build test before they launch so it's just for Nigeria to receive it for this to have happened it means they already signed like what you heard it has already been signed and if you are to reject or to refuse this cruise liner, I want to believe that a certain amount of money that has been paid cannot be returned back. They will definitely want to sell to someone else, but you will not expect them to pay back the money. That is if the money has been paid in quarter or half. So where, what is this $5 billion? Is it the completion? Or they just decided to come up with like uh, $5 billion for the cruise liner that is coming? Is it part payment? Quarter payment, full payment. What is this exactly? Now, where did they come up with the five billion that they are now putting into education as loan? This government is not transparent. And like I said initially, I said there is no way out because legislators, senators are also looking for what something to steal. They're also looking for something to corner for themselves. It's all about their own pleasure, um, enjoyment, soft life, relaxation, and nothing more. That's what they are all about, as you can see. Once they get into government, the first thing that comes on their mind is how to jostle for money, how to grab, how to get this out to. And they, they don't stop because a senator is hoping to become maybe president. A senator is hoping that one day, he can attend because some of them, they were governors. They ended up becoming senators and someone to be second time, third time senator. And they want to continue like that. That's how these guys roll. They have acquired, stolen so much money and they do not want to stop. It's an endless circle. Nigerians have um, looked at it and they do not believe. They say, no, uh, we distrust this government even if. Um, the so-called $5 billion marked for the cruise line has been cut off. Um, let us assume it has been cut off. Um, saying that they are no longer putting $5 billion into that does not mean that they have not found a way to um, probably um, pay for that same cruise liner uh, maybe in, in the next budget. And they would say, oh, we've given $5 billion for loan for education. So you have to pay. Like I said at the beginning, the cruise liner, was it bought on loan? No. Why are these people so wicked? Why are they so heartless? It's so bad. It is so bad. 
I, I just don't really know where we are heading in this government. Some of these politicians have given excuses. They pointed to the United States and they want to be like the United States. Now, let's ask, is the quality of life in the U.S. and that of Nigeria the same? Why is it that these criminal politicians want to attain status, comfort? They want to buy. They want to own. They want to enjoy what they see their counterparts in countries that work, enjoy. But the question is this. Have you provided? Have you taken care of the most important? They feel and believe that the most important is themselves. That's it. Look at the situation of things. You be, no, the same man that was screaming, I'm, I'm a city boy. I want electricity. I want light. Where is it? Where is the electricity? Where is the light? Where is it? Nowhere to be found. He wants to buy cruise liner to spend time on. And you know, the number of um, naval officers and, um, you know, Air Force, maybe stationed on top of the aircraft or whatever, should there be any, you know, incident or whatever it is, the person will just be flown away out of that place with the wife and children and trusted it. You know how these guys rule. It's going to cost a lot of money for them. And Bola Metunubu is going to enjoy it. It's not going to... No, 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 no. no. Bola Metunubu is not going to uh, just um, keep that cruise line somewhere. And he's going to take such cruise line to probably some African country or even you know, cruise it down to France. He doesn't mind to cruise it down to Europe. Cruise it down wherever. Fuel it up. Take me anywhere. Enjoyment galore. Whilst people... We are talking of minimum wage. That one has not been sorted. Constant electricity is zero. Tariffs are increasing. Life is hard. They are telling Nigerians to, 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 to manage, to cut their coat according to their coat, to tighten their belt, tighten their waist. But they are not ready to tighten anything. These are wicked people. If you don't stand up, they will continually look at you as beneath them. And this is wrong. That's why I've, I've kept saying, do, it's, 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 a, it's craziness, it's madness. To call the president your father. How can the president be your father? They say the president is our father. As our father. Once you begin to talk like that. You know that you are begging that person to do well. And that is not what it's supposed to be. What are your thoughts? Drop your comment. Like and share. See you in the next update.